Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. How's it going? Ah, so glad to be back. I was on vacation last week. Actually, it was a workation, I need to call it that. Um, we were away with the family at the beach and I decided to actually work that week because I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done and I'm feeling really inspired and a little bit on a timeline, right? With baby number two coming. So I had a nice workation, got a little bit of rest, we'll say a little bit. Annabelle um, was definitely off her sleep schedule and was waking up every morning somewhere between the hours of 3.30 and 5.30 a.m. So today, I don't actually have like any new content for you or anything. I have just like personal updates and I want to talk to you guys about the podcast. And I'm also going to reveal the gender of the baby. So I realized everyone's been asking me, what are you having? What, what a boy, a girl, what's going on? And we found out just about three weeks ago and we still haven't shared with anyone. Things have just been so hectic. Um that we just haven't shared yet. So I will share with you guys what we are having probably at the end of this, um, just to keep you on suspense, because it's so fun. If you're there, say hello. I would love to hear you guys are coming from. It is a nice, cool, breezy day here today, which I'm very grateful for. So first things first, um, podcast. Let's talk podcast. So podcast officially launches on Monday. First episode will be coming out on Monday. Our first um, guest is Anna Franston. She is one of my dear business friends. And I'll just have to say all of the individuals who are on the podcast this first season are all great business friends. Um, and it's just been so much fun. You guys know I was really scared putting this podcast together. It felt like really out of my comfort zone because I've done a lot of interviews and I enjoy being interviewed, but I've never actually interviewed anyone. Like I had never interviewed anyone for a job or for pretty much anything. So I had all these fears, like, what do you do? Like, what do you ask? And people would say to me, you've been a therapist forever for what over 10 years and you interview people all the time you ask questions all the time it's not any different than that so put that fear aside started the podcast and it's just been a blessing it's been so much fun because it's just a fun excuse for me to get to hang out with biz besties and hear a little bit more of their story that and ask them questions that maybe i've never really asked them before so I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. And if you guys haven't entered the giveaway, so again, first episode goes out Monday, Monday, July 2nd. And between now and then, I'm hosting a giveaway. It's so easy, guys, for you to enter. It's so simple. And the number one prize is one of you will win a VIP intensive with me, a one-to-one -one intensive. Um, and then I think it's, Let's see, I'm getting my numbers probably off. Um, let me just see how many of you in. Two of you win full access to my Confident Ladies Club Accelerator Program. Um, the Accelerator Program is basically a portal and you can log in and you have access to all of the trainings I've ever done, all of the resources, all of my workbooks. You have access to my Let's Go From Invisible to Impactful um, Visibility course. Everything's in there. It's all of the goodness that uh, my mastermind ladies get access to. So two of you will get access to that. And then five of you will win my complete collection of workbook bundles. And you guys can get so much value and learn so much about mindset and confidence and visibility through those bundles. So I'm super, super pumped that you guys are going to get to win. And we've had tons of people entering. So all you have to do, let me actually pull out my handy instructions because I don't want to get any of the steps wrong is number one, subscribe to the podcast, okay? It's that easy. Thinking like a boss, look it up on iTunes, Kate Krakow. 
subscribe. Then take a screenshot of it, okay? Then post an Instagram story of the screenshot. Tag myself at Kate Krako and tag the podcast at Kate Krako Podcast. Boom, you're done. That's it. You're entered. Um, and then what I do in order to confirm your entry is I'll send you a little message as soon as I see that I'm tagged and just say, hey, I see that you entered and you know, congratulations or thank you. And then I repost it again um, just to give you a shout out and to thank you for doing for taking the time to do it. So that's what's going on with the podcast. Again, we have the entire season one already recorded. We're already recording season two um, because I can't believe it before we know it. It's going to be time for baby number two to arrive. So we're already um, recording, ep uh, I was going to say episodes number two, no, season number two. And we have people pretty much lined up until this time next year, which is insane. We have so many women who have um, volunteered or have I have people who are now starting to pitch themselves. Um, so I'm just really pumped. I had no idea that it would go this smoothly. I will tell you though, again, I'm not the best at tech and um, thank God I have a really good editor who's been helping me with it. Um, but I still have not used my fancy microphone yet. I have to somehow for season two, get my act together and learn how to use it because I think we also live on a very noisy street and I need to find, I did some episodes in the closet, um, but I need to find like a really quiet lace because it picks up all of the background noise. Um, so if you guys have tips for me, it's a Yeti, a blue Yeti, I think it's called a blue Yeti. It's like this shape and um, it just picks up a lot of background noise. So I've been for the intros and outros, I've just been using my phone. Quick tip, you're actually on an iPhone. The sound quality is incredible. And then for the regular recordings, I've just been doing it on Zoom on my computer. Sound quality is not as good, and you guys will be able to tell that. Um, but you know what? I'm launching it perfectly, doing it, doing it imperfectly, just as I teach you guys. And it still feels really good because... When you think about it, the sound quality, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the message. And these women that I've already interviewed have had incredible messages to share with you guys of overcoming and working through major blocks in their businesses and their lives. And I can't wait for you guys to hear it all. So again, podcast, Thinking Like a Boss, launches on Monday. We have episode zero up right now. So it's just a quick little intro. Um, just talking about the podcast, what it's about, blah, blah, blah. And if you're there, please say hello. I'd love to see who is on today. I may not be getting comments because this tends to happen on a Facebook Live where I don't see them until after. Yes, yeah, so now I just refreshed it. Yay! Hi, Heather. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jamie. Good morning, everyone. Yay. Okay. So now I can see, I see a couple comments. I'm going to refresh this other page here too. Um, so anyway, that's the podcast. Number two for announcement yesterday and today I've been taking over the mama. Well, Instagram page. If you are a mama or hope to be a mom someday, this is a really great page for you to follow. Again, it's called the mama. Well, and it's just inspiration from other mothers who are doing life and doing career, doing business. Some are stay-at-home moms. Um, but basically, every week, somebody takes over the Instagram page and shares their whole day. So my husband was looking at it yesterday. He was like, I don't know how you got anything done after posting all those videos. So basically, all day long, I just posted like this is what I'm doing next and this is what I'm doing next and this is behind the scenes. And it's really fun, like it's a little weird doing it yourself. Like I love watching them, but it does feel uncomfortable. Like, is this stupid? Do people really wanna see this? But hey, I guess they do. I love watching them. So 
Yesterday was a lot of behind the scenes. Today will not be as heavy, but if you go back, you can watch. Um, they are also saved in our Instagram story bubbles. So take a look there. Again, the mama well. You guys will get a sneak peek of behind the scenes. Um, a little bit about my story. And yeah, it's just a great place to go for inspiration. What else? Oh, I have more affirmation cards. So if you guys haven't gotten any of these yet, please sign up. They're free. KateCracko.com forward slash snail mail. KateCracko.com forward slash snail mail. I will address them and send them in the mail to you. They're just, they're adorable. You can hang them on your refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror. Just keep them propped up by your computer. You can frame them. But it just has my top affirmations that I've created for my clients um, and what affirmations that have really helped them on their journey. So I just got a comment. Hi, Shayna. How are you? N Natalie says, not to make you subconscious, are you using a new mic today? Your voice sounds deeper and richer. Wow, that was really sweet. I'm actually not. And it's funny you said that because I was just sharing. I don't know if you just signed on, Natalie, but um, the mic that I have for my podcast, I have not been using because I am too overwhelmed. Not overwhelmed, but just like... I'm, I'm a little scared to use it. I'm a little, it's a little intim intimidated. That's the word. I'm a little intimidated by it. Um, it picks up a lot of background noise. So I've really, I've just been recording them on my computer um, and not using the microphone. So I was asking if any of you guys have Blue Yeti microphone and have tips on how to get it to work and not pick up the background noise to let me know. Besides like going in your closet, which I have been also doing is recording a lot in my closet. It's actually quite nice to hide in the closet. No one bothers you. No one knows where you are. Um, so again, kcracker.com forward slash snail mail, and I will send you an affirmation card. Um, okay, so next let's do book update. So book update. I have been working with my literary agent, and we are almost... We almost have two chapters polished. Chapter in the inner chapter is polished. Um, the next chapter, this has been like the most challenging chapter, and I knew I wanted to write it first because of how challenging it would be. The others are going to feel like a breeze after, but it's the motherhood chapter. And again, my book is called Thinking Like a Boss. That's at least my proposed name for it. Hopefully, nobody changes it on me, but it was my inspiration for the podcast, and that's why the podcast is also called called thinking like a boss, but in, I'm sharing in the book, the top limiting beliefs that I've seen female business owners um, go through, overcome, and I'm sharing a lot of my story. And then I'm also sharing tangible tips, exercises for you guys to be able to use um, to really help you on your journey. It's a faith-based book. I'm working with a faith-based literary agency, um, and I'm going to be pitching it to probably mostly um, faith-based faith -based publishers. <clears throat> um, the book is not super like scripture heavy or anything. It really could go both ways. Um, but I feel really called to publish it in the faith-based world. So hopefully that works um, because there's really not anything like it right now. There's a lot of leadership books that are written by older, I shouldn't say old, but older middle-aged men. And um, there's a lot, not a lot from a young perspective. And I'm just really excited to get it out there. And um, I have a bunch of chapters done. But basically what you do when you're working with a literary agent is you go through chapter by chapter, you edit together. Um, and all I can say is mine's a rock star. She's amazing. And she's really been challenging me in my writing is changing drastically just through this process. Um, it's crazy. And I'm just blown away when I read the pages. I'm like, do we really write this? Like, this is really good. Really good. So the motherhood chapter was quite a challenge, especially last week. I think that when we, here's a little lesson for you guys. When we are focused on something, when we're out there teaching something, oftentimes we are challenged by the thing, right? We feel like, oh, I've gone through this. Um, you know, it's no big deal for me anymore. 
And, you know, I've got motherhood down or I've got this, this and that down. I've got comparison out of the way, but it starts to sneak up again. And I was challenged beyond belief on this workation last week. Um, not feeling qualified to write this motherhood chapter. Um, just at times like, like feeling like I wanted to give up. Um, just because of some of the challenges I was having away, but it's done. It's pretty much done. It's just a couple of edits left. And I think that sometimes we, it's not that we're supposed to struggle, but I think the struggle is what helps us, um, keeps us grounded and keeps us human. And I think without those struggles last week, the chapter wouldn't be as good as it actually is. So I am grateful for that. Although I was not really enjoying it last week, I will tell you that. <laughs> um, this writing process has been a lot harder than I had imagined. Um, it's, I, it's a lot of mindset stuff that comes up. Um, you know, you think that you're prepared and you're ready to do something and it, you're challenged in many ways. And again, I think that all of these limiting beliefs that I've talked about in the chapters, they're all things that I've experienced and overcome. But again, when we're teaching on something, sometimes we get challenged in that area again. So I have a feeling that it's going to be a long year writing this book. And um, each time I dig into a new chapter and a new limiting belief, I probably will be challenged in that area again. And I'm not looking forward to it but i know again that it's going to make the content that much better and um really just make that much more relatable for you guys so i'm really excited about that um i am putting this out there that i would love to birth this book before i birth this, this new baby um We'll see what God's plan is, if this is what's supposed to happen. If not, I know that it's fine. You know, there's, it's going to be published at some point, but I would love for, um, I'm just, I'm putting that intention out there. I'd love for it to happen sooner. So once I get my act together and get these last couple of chapters wrapped up, we're going to start pitching to publishers and I use all the prayers in the world because, um, I'm just hoping that we find the right one and that someone loves it and really takes care of it and invests in it um, because it feels like it's just like a piece of me, right? It feels like I'm actually birthing another baby. And it's really funny because um, I, you know, we put these intentions out there of things that we want to do and I've always wanted to write a book, but it's always felt sort of like way out of reach for me. Like, I don't know if it will actually happen. And last year around August, I was feeling called again to, um, to really start taking it seriously. And I'd gotten an email from someone that I had been following for a while uh, and she was offering this coaching program to help people publish their, write, write and publish their books. Um, and I was, it was like just divine timing and everything. And I knew like, this is time for me to do this. And the other day I was scrolling through my old pictures in my phone and it was, I think it's like the second, first or second week of September. I had screenshot an email that I sent her and I said, all paid for the program. I am ready to be a published author. And I remember back then thinking like, not believing it at all, right? Just, I'm going to fake this until I become it. And I mean, I didn't believe it at all. I didn't believe it would be possible, but something in me said, just get a shot. Like, why not? And it felt so out of reach now to look back. Like it did not take that long, right? I didn't start my proposal until probably close to end of September and um, signed with my literary agent in May. So I just want to share that because if writing is something that, you know, you are passionate about and something you want to do and you're scared and you feel like it could be really hard and you're not sure, you know, whether it would really work, like, why not just give a chance? That's what I did. I said, I have nothing to lose. I can get all the no's in the world, but what if I get a yes? And it happened. So I just want to encourage those of you who want to write or just do anything in your life just to give it a shot. 
Angelica says, yes, you need to build a sound perfumer on the mic. Oh, yes. Huh. All right. That's helpful. Thank you. Hi, Betcha. How are you? See, I see a couple comments here and there, but I know I'm missing some. So if I'm like, don't, don't think I'm ignoring you, I will um, respond back after. Go for it. We love you. Maybe we'll get sweet baby sounds in the background. Oh, <clears throat> well, baby girl Annabelle, she's at daycare now. Um, she just loves daycare. It makes me so happy with how happy she is when she's there. Um, so anyways, I'm going to share two more things and then I'm going to share gender reveal of baby. And I'm going to share sort of like a little backstory with that too. So the next thing is I want to invite you guys. So my mastermind, you guys know, I've been talking about my mastermind all year. Um, I started launching it and talking about it back in January. Doors opened in March and um, we've had women. It's been an evergreen program. So women have been invited to join at all different stages. Um, so we've averaged probably about three new women per month joining. Um, and it was a six month program, but because the days are dwindling before this new baby comes, we only have from July 1st until November 1st, a four month chunk of time if any of you guys still want to join the mastermind. So if you're interested, this is like the last chance. I'm, I'm going to just share this with you guys until next year. 2019, I'll relaunch it again. Um, but for now, and for some of you, you may just want to do a four-month mastermind. You may not even want to do the full six months. So if you're interested, shoot me a message ASAP because, um, again, the doors are going to close on Monday. And I will not be reopening the mastermind until probably spring of 2019. Yeah, spring, probably March again, 2019. So not for a while. And um, I'd love for you guys to come. I also have a retreat in early September here in New York that's included in the mastermind. Um, so just shoot me a message. We'll hop on the phone this week and we'll get you in. All right, there's still space for you guys. And then the next thing, crazy, right? We are, we are officially moving. Um, Fingers crossed we sign contracts on this house. We sign contracts on the house that we're getting. And the wheels are finally going. We are purchasing um, a fixer-upper. And it's going to be an adventure this summer. I would just say adventure before the baby arrives. Um, because we're going to be re renovating an entire house. Like knocking down walls. Knocking down ceilings. Um, pulling up floors, new kitchen, new bathrooms, like the whole thing, we're going to do it all. So it's going to be a little bit crazy, but I'm ready for it. So Dylan, hi, my brother-in-law. I love him. Um, <laughs> we have a lot in common, I like to say. Um, so what else? All right. So I'm going to share with you guys. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So everyone, I'm just going to first put this out there with baby and I had all of like the old wife's tales, um, different symptoms of like really bad acne and the girl robbing your beauty. Um, gaining so much weight, feeling sick all the time. Um, just, not enjoying, no, I enjoyed my pregnancy, but just feeling sick all the time and um, overly emotional and all those other things that everyone says comes with having a baby girl. And you guys know from the start with baby Annabelle, as soon as uh, I took that test, I knew I was going to have a girl. I knew that she was going to come early. With this one, this one is like, has been tricking me, like really, really tricking me. So I had some morning sickness. I can't say it was easy, but it wasn't awful. Like it was that first trimester, but it was not anything like it was with Annabelle. Um, I had energy. I feel good. I haven't had acne. Um, I've slowly caught up with the weight drain. Um, they just told me the other day that I'm the same now as I was in my pregnancy with Annabelle during this 21st week. Um, but early on I didn't gain a ton of weight 
like I did with Annabelle. Like I packed on the pounds, guys. Packed them on. They were telling me to slow, 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 slow it down. Um, and this one's just easy. Like Annabelle, I remember like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't sleep. It was just like I was uncomfortable all the time. Like it was pretty bad. So everyone has been telling me you're having a boy. You're totally having a boy. And these are like friends also who are like super intuitive and like new baby Annabelle is going to be a girl. Well, guys, go to the anatomy scan and I'm having another girl. <laughs> she tricked everyone. She definitely tricked everyone. We, I was like, are you sure? Are you positive? This pregnancy is completely different. Everyone's telling me it's a boy because it's been like easy. No, it's enough. They're like, ah, uh, honey, there's nothing between the legs. This is a girl. This is a baby girl. So I am having another confident lady. Ah, oh, my heart. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'd be excited either way. I'd love to have a boy too. Um, but I feel like it's been like this, um, like God's just saying to me, like, I'm taking care of you this season. I know this is going to be a crazy season for you. And I'm just going to bless you and like spare you of the sickness, spare you of all of um, the discomfort that you went through with Anna being pregnant with Annabelle and also make it easy, right? It's going to be so simple having another girl is she gets to wear all of Annabelle's clothes um, like, I'm not funny with that. I'm fine with hand-me-downs. Um, she'll, I mean, I have so much girl stuff. I have so many clothes from Annabelle that I've never even taken tags off of. So, hi, Kelsey. Hello, hello. I got a box you back. Um, Kelsey, I don't know if I told you. Did you, did you know I'm having a girl? Um, so yeah, we found out like three weeks ago, but life's been a whirlwind. And somebody asked yesterday, they were like, didn't you have the scan? Like, did you find out yet? And I'm like, oh my God, we never told anyone. We just forgot to tell people. Yeah, so we're having another girl. And I'm pumped. Annabelle's going to have a baby sister. She's been so cute with her dolly. She's been obsessed with babies um, the last couple of weeks. And she, like, carries her dollies around. She sleeps with her baby now. It's adorable. I can't wait to see them together. So... That is my announcement. Another beautiful, confidently. So excited. Oh, Heather says, I knew someone whose ultrasound said girl and surprised it was a boy. Hashtag just saying, oh my God, don't give me anxiety. My only thing with a boy, like I'm fine having a boy, but I'm like now like, oh my God, we don't, we wouldn't have any clothes if it was a boy. I mean, Guys, that's simple, right? I just go to the store and buy clothes. But I'm like, how would I dress a boy? What would I do? This is, how do you take care of a boy? So hopefully it really is a girl because that is my nerves. Um, I know it's funny because when I was pregnant with Annabelle, everyone kept saying, like, people, it's like strangers would stop me and say, let me guess you're having a boy. Because of the way my, my belly was, I guess. I was, like, really high with Annabelle. And literally the day before my water broke, every, like somebody was like, you're definitely having a boy. They definitely messed up on your anatomy skin. Um, like there's no way. Like you're, she's so, your, your belly's so high up. God, people love to like stress pregnant women out. Like I think people forget that when you're pregnant, your hormones are a little bit out of whack and you can tend to a little bit more stressed out than normal. Um, people just love to say things like that. <laughs> they were freaking me out at the end. It's so funny. So Heather, who knows? But I think it's another girl. I think she just tricked us and she's just being really easy with me. And hopefully that means baby will be much easier than Annabelle was. Annabelle is a dream now and a, just adorable and I just love her to death. But she was quite a treat <laughs> for six months of her life. That's what I will say. Um, so anyways, again, don't forget podcast, um, subscribe, thinking like a boss, giveaway, enter in the giveaway because you can win some really cool prizes. 
mastermind, only a couple more days to join before it closes until spring of 2019. Um, what else? Affirmation cards, grab those, and I think that's it. So thank you guys for sharing this time with me this morning. I didn't have like any content for you, but it was just fun to catch up because I wasn't here last week. And I hope that you guys have a lovely Wednesday and I'll talk to you soon.